Welcome to another edition of Rudiments 101. <laughs> I'm a sad little clown <laughs> because I need to do buzz rolls today. <laughs> Follow me. <laughs> I buzz rolls. Buzz rolls are the same thing as concert rolls, basically, multiple bounce rolls, press rolls. It's basically any type of roll that each hand is pretty much doing more than three strokes. Because, you know, you, you have the, the single stroke roll. You have the double bounce roll. And you have the triple stroke roll. Well, once you go beyond three strokes on each hand, you're kind of defeating your own body because you already can divide that four into the double stroke roll. So it's easier to go than to go. Okay? So that's, you know, probably why it goes from, you know, single stroke double stroke, triple stroke, multiple bounce, buzz, whatever, concert roll, you know, all this other stuff. Uh, the roll basically is supposed to sound sort of like a, a constant, uh, I'm trying to think of a good thing to say, a constant like zzz or zzz, that sort of thing. Let me give you an example. roll, the thing, when you're beginning to do it, the thing you're trying to do is to not do this and get this sort of sound. Now what causes that sound in these type of rolls is you complete what one hand is doing before the other hand starts, and that's what causes the break. What you want to do in this type of roll is this. Think of the stick here as a moment in time. Let's just say it is a second. And let's just say that this, in time, represents this. That was this. Okay? Now, when, let's say, the right hand, this is the time it spins here. When the next hand begins to play, it needs to begin to play about here. You see how there's this, this double section here where they're both playing at the same time? Whereas when you have a double stroke, it would be like this. da 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 when you get to a multiple bounce roll, it will overlap and be like zzzz. Before one hand is done playing, the other hand comes into play. Before that hand is done playing, the other hand comes into play. One thing you can do before you start trying this, you know, with sticks, is just take your hand and run it down the drum like this. Okay? Now, before you lift the hand, try to start the other hand and, and practice it that way. I know this may seem really rudimentary and really like dumb and whatever, but the way people are and just the way the mind works and the way things are, especially the way drummers are, it, it's sort of like right, left, right, left, right, left. There's, there's nothing that really says in our playing both right and left. Even a flam is not both right and left. 
it is it's it's uh, there's a space between unless you you know you get a flat flame this is different okay so practice this sort of thing and as the first one comes in you take the other one out okay then you can start to do the same exercise with the sticks. It doesn't matter how many bounces you do or, or anything like that. You're not going for a roll. You're going for a training the body. Muscle memory. try to speed that up. Try a little faster. Noticing, I, I changed, and I did because when you really begin to do a buzz roll, you're not going to do it this way on the drum. That is a training exercise. Uh, different folks have different ways of playing them. They either do them traditional, or they do them mad. There's some guys I've seen that they hold their sticks like. This. I'm not that talented. I do mine this way. I kind of press it into the drum, and I do sweeps ac across this way. It's just what I've done. It's what I'm still doing. I think the sound is 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 fine, and um, that's the way it is. That might help you get your uh, concert buzz, multiple bounce rolls going, and uh, I, the you know. These are uh, not that difficult. It's not like a difficult rudiment. It's a difficult concept as far as rudimental drumming. But once you get the concept, it's actually quite easy to do and really fun. You can have a lot of fun with these rolls in different... Um, it's one of the rolls you can do in different areas of the drum and... Uh, and kind of sort of make them looser and tighter and stuff. Uh, they're, they're a lot more fun actually than uh, multiple bounce rolls because they just have a lot more uh, dynamic range and, and, and incorporated in that dynamic range there's a lot more you can put into it because you can change how many bounces you're doing. It, and they're just kind of fun. You get a lot of, you can get a lot of, uh, what am I talking about, talking about uh, flavor into these. A lot of flavor and style into these kind of rolls. So um, I hope that helps a little bit, and um, you know I have to comb my hair because this I don't know. I just I just don't know. Oh Lord, how do I look? You like it? Anyway, look. I'll talk to you next time. Uh, practice these up. I'm gonna throw I think a. Um, another one up on these rolls or whatever to maybe get some more explanation pretty soon and have fun with it man it's just drums thanks for watching